And the answer is, answers are mutations that change the stop codon of the gene to an amino acid codon are going to make the reading frame longer because the reading frame is defined by the stop codon that ends it. Also, um, a deletion in front of the stop codon won't change the sequence of the codon itself, but it will stop it from functioning as a stop codon because it will now be in the wrong reading frame. So it won't be recognized as a stop codon anymore. It won't function as a stop codon transcribing this gene because it'll be out of frame from the start codon. So what we've done, we've considered how new genes usually arise from old genes, most commonly by duplication of DNA already in the cell, but occasionally by transfer of genes that had evolved in some other organism and whose DNA was brought into the cell. And we talked about how genes can also arise from random sequences if there's just by chance a signal for transcription and a reading frame that's long enough to generate a functional protein. Coming up next, we're going to think about the outcomes of these gene duplication events um, in the context of particularly gene families and of diverging gene functions. I hope to see you there.